is Colin Skinner and I was born in Deal and I've walked about 14,500 miles around the world. To date I've done eight long distance walks. I've walked across Britain three times from John O'Groats Land's End. I've walked across Iceland. I've walked from New York to California twice now and also all the way from the top of New Zealand to the bottom of New Zealand. So basically halfway around the world in eight long distance walks. Until I was 18 I'd never been outside of Deal. In 1983 four of us ran a, ma uh, a marathon around our school track and we raised about I think about a thousand pounds for this uh, local school for handicapped children the Fallen School at Broadstairs. So we did that in 1983 and having raised a thousand pounds for this school the idea was in 1984 to then walk all the way from um, John O'Groats to Land's End. There was Marcus McWilliam and Simon Goff and Jonathan Griggs and myself. In 1983 and 1984 we'd raised about four and a half thousand pounds from those journeys. We walked about a thousand miles, we got to meet a lot of people along the way and we also helped a local school of handicapped children so it was a wonderful experience and that's what sort of set me off on doing uh, future walks. In uh, 2003 I started to write a book about a journey which I'd taken all the way from New York to San Francisco and before that uh, across Britain. So uh, I actually wrote a book um, about that, this Beyond the Setting Sun. And so I wrote this book uh, about the journey which I'd taken back in 1988 to 1989. It took eight months to get from New York to San Francisco, um, walking about 5,000 miles across America. On the walks that I do, uh, I'll walk anything from 20 to 40 miles in a day. The most I've ever walked is about 65 miles in about 27 hours to get to the Grand Canyon. And there, what we did, we used the book to raise money for Pilgrim's Hospices in Kent. So we sold about 2,000 copies of the book, and that made about £10,000 there. We've been focusing on raising money and awareness for hospice organisations, and that was mainly due to the fact that uh, my mother had pancreatic cancer and died from that in 2003. That's what made me want to do the walks all over again, having done the walks for hospices back in 1988-89. to 89. Ranulph Fiennes had actually lost his wife to cancer and we approached Ranulph Fiennes and he agreed to do the introduction to the book. The second book um, I've written is uh, called New Zealand and that tells about the journey from the um, top of the North Island at Cape Moreinga in New Zealand all the way down to Bluff at the bottom of New Zealand. That walk was about 1500 miles. That journey I did in 1998 and my family through all my walks have been very supportive because I've been away for a long time. The journeys I've taken, uh, I've probably been walking for about two and a half years if you add them all up. But my wife Monica has been very supportive in letting me do these journeys. So the journeys have been absolutely wonderful. I've got to meet uh, incredible people and I've seen amazing things. And again through the books and through um, other means I can try and sh share those experiences with other people and also encourage people to do what they can do to help hospices help other people.